So welcome back to the region of New York. We're in this view just so we can see how many people we have in total, which is about 80,000. And I know Cuba penis jokes about Manhattan, but I was tempting or contemplating uh, whether or not to build another large city over in this tile. But I decided not to, just because that would mean we'd pretty much leave numero uno out to dry and just we'd completely leave it alone and we probably wouldn't come back to it for a long, long time. But I need to work on a lot over here in numero uno. And yes, I do know, I keep on getting confused between the high density being like high wealth and like the low density being low wealth. It doesn't really mean that. And I do realize that. And I always forget that. I remember back in the days of me, I think this is just like from like the way I played the game when I was a lot younger. I still remember that's how I played. I always used to think low density meant it was for poor people. But I think that this is, um, well, I'm 100% sure that this is all high density. So I could go ahead and change that and maybe put, uh, build a couple of uh, medium density. Just try it out for a bit. Oh, no, do they, does that delete the houses? Okay. Well, there you go. At least we learned something new. So that deletes everything. Or were they already medium? No, the high density. This is medium density. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. I should probably check the data views as well, just over here. Uh, check the land value. It's perfect. Just, yeah, around these shops. Is that a stock exchange? Okay. Uh, well, at least there's a uh, commercial businessman that can work around here then. Uh, what about what else should we check mayor rating it should be it's not the best i guess it's only in residential places as well yeah, it's not too bad it's just in well i guess that's the zone color so i guess it's fairly green where it's populated so it's not too bad at all we're playing on normal speed good uh education as well okay maybe i should go and fix that up here because over here it's perfect people are moving in so that's that, and I guess education must be really poor around here, so maybe I should place a school right in the thick of things, right next to these long buildings, or Simon Mayor Manor, Simon Mayor, where'd I get that from? Uh, so, schools, over here, and yes, I will also start putting some subways in the more dense areas, so that's our goal for this episode, okay, we'll, we'll be making money soon, so... I'm glad we balanced our budget because it was looking a bit shocking a bit before. So, schools it is. So, I think we should just go for normal elementary school. Right over here. There we go. That should cover a fair amount. And then we'll put a high school behind it. So, just a normal high school. Nothing too major. If the game actually... There we go. Works. Is this a normal high school or a... Okay, normal high schools are huge. Wow. All right, that should be good enough. Hopefully people will stop complaining about education at least. Let's check out uh, this. Okay, so I guess the demands aren't really that high uh, for housing now. I guess we gotta go more into business. So what I'm thinking about is, I'm not exactly sure what I'm thinking about right now. Maybe extend the business area out over here. I probably want to build it. I'm surprised no one's coming in over here. Like this area. Wow, everyone took up this area real quick. I should check it, check it out as to what it exactly it is. Medium wealth. And high wealth. Okay, so it's a mixture. And their offices as well, aren't they? Commercial services. Seems like they're all commercial services. Okay. What if I put... No, you don't want low density though, do you? Well, you could... Well, sorry. It can be low density. I keep on falling into that trap. It can be low density as long as it's high wealth. Alright, hopefully that'll fix up a couple of problems. And also, here would be pretty much a perfect area for business as well to thrive, I'd assume. So I'll put that there, and I'll also get medium density over here. And why are people moving out exactly? Due to low demand. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. 
I was thinking it could have been water or just commute times, but how could it be commute times when we just spent a whole episode trying to fix that up? So also I should check out what we're at at the beginning. We're at 61,000 people. I think we were, I think we actually did make people last episode, which is good. Yeah, just the low demand. We really need to increase the demand. Probably what I'll do is I'll check out the other different areas. What's up over here? You're not connected to power. Seems required to change the lights. Well, the question remains, why did you need to change the lights if the electricity isn't working? Okay. That's quite interesting. Oh, and there's all these seagulls around the lighthouse. So I guess we've got to connect it up to power lines and connect it to this. I mean, it should work like this. I don't see why it wouldn't. There we go. Did that ship just magically spawn? I think it might have. But yeah, the demands for both high-tech and uh, commercial offices, high-value commercial offices, is very, very high. I'm not exactly sure why people don't want to really come up here. Like, what do I do to force it to be commercial offices? I know I get to ask you guys so many questions. <laughs> I mean, education should be a lot better now. I guess, I think the thing that we need to work on now is safety. It's improving a bit, but not enough. That's another thing we should work on. Let's go do that. Uh, hopefully we won't be spending too much though. And it seems like we are. Health and education, we're spending a lot on it. Maybe lower the health just a bit. And you know what? Let's just lower the education a little bit as well. We've got so many local branch libraries though. Hopefully it's not going to be too much. I've got to remember though that we did drop the uh, the taxes or the money that we're making on everything and our services. So I should work on that. At least remember to raise that back up. So now we should go to services. Maybe there's a way you can check for like safety. Traffic, or we'll check traffic. There we go, that's fixed up. That was red before. Nice. So it seems like everything is good. Uh, does that mean I can go volume? Mm hmm. So you'd expect more volume to be in the avenues and the roads. Okay, so green means it's 70%, so. Here's the biggest stretch. It's not even that bad anywhere, like on the main avenue, going straight through our city. And on the evening commute, not bad at all. All right, how about I check sub, the yeah, subways. Yeah, this is still the main area. It's still manageable. Nothing too bad happening. Over here, congestion. It's not congestion congested at all oh, no 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 prime yeah so I should I get rid of like all the crime is that like a goal or is this just like spotted areas good because I downloaded a mod that I was reading that the airports yes the airports like if you, you like the airports so big that it doesn't allow enough space for the police stations to do their own work Ah, oh, this is good. You can see what type... Oh, wow. I never actually went this deep into the game. You can see where drugs it's being taken and all this stuff. Oh, changes a lot, though. Okay, well, I should start placing some police stations or a lot more of them. At least an attempt to... What about a kiosk over here? I don't think... I'm not proposing anything too major. Is that going to fix it up? I'm not sure. <laughs> But we definitely need some more large police stations. Larger deluxe. Moderately more effective and included police chopper. What's well, $50 extra a month? At least if we keep it at the current pricing. And that ain't connected to a road, is it? So I'll also go ahead and try to protect these people. They're, who the hell steals stuff at a golf course? Really? What is this? Uh, so, please. And then I'll just build a small police station right around this corner here. 
Okay, hopefully that will increase the safety. It should be improving any moment now. And then I'll check fire safety as well. That's here. Fire hazard. Uh-huh. What if I turn it all off? I guess this is all, well, wouldn't all buildings be a fire hazard? Unless I've got some magical anti-fire type stuff. Maybe we could do an ordinance sense. Some law like we go over here. And city ordinances, something to do with fire. Paper waste reduction program. No. Smoke detector program, here we go. City assisted and monitored installation of smoke detectors in every building. This increases the effectiveness of your fire apartments or departments. Oh yeah, 61 simillions. What else is there? Neighborhood watch. Yep, I'll also do that. They're all pretty cheap, really. Couple, no. I don't think we're, no, we're not that bad with the congestion right now, so. Whatever. Cur Youth Curfew Act. That could possibly, yes, reduce crime. So I'll definitely use that. No, and I do want nuclear power, I think. I do envisage, envisage nuclear power here. Can't talk today. Um, so, I think that's about all for now. Safety should be improving quite a bit. I'll maybe speed up time. Check out this. We're still at 61,000 people. I think we'll remain at 61,000 people. It's just that people want businesses, really. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start... Yeah, people will really like this area. These high-rise offices. I'm pretty sure they're offices. Wait. I work commercial office, yep. I think I'll delete this one. I think this is what you had to do. Back in the good old days of SimCity, you have to delete like your places that aren't really the best, that are quite dilapidated, like these areas. I'm assuming they're dilapidated. So that's why I'm deleting them. I don't even like this. Even if it's a bit too brown, I'll still delete it. Like, what's that? That's just black. These ugly houses. Probably this whole area. This guy. Alrighty. We don't want to destroy a whole city, though. But I just want to beautify it up a little. I'm really looking forward to SimCity as well. I should mention that I did get in contact with... Uh, the EA, EA Australian uh, people, they seem keen to be working with me, which is a bit exciting. Not the biggest channel for EA, I just assume. <laughs> yeah, like, when you talk to, to other companies that might be only in the PC industry, like, I don't know, Paradox. Paradox really know how to look after YouTubers, whereas, especially like people like me that aren't massive, like, YouTubers or anything like that, they definitely do know what to do and help out and they understand that YouTube is a like a free way for them to advertise pretty much. So a lot of guys, I'm sure I would have inspired some of you guys to boot up SimCity 4 with this, no doubt. It brings back just such good memories playing this. Even though I never really got too far and no, I really don't like this. It's been around for ages. Alrighty. Well, maybe we'll speed up time just a little bit more. I should check up on the water systems though. Don't you think these latest developments are, well, they're a little bit watered. We can just improve everything. I wouldn't be surprised as well if our water systems were coming to their life's end, the end of the life cycle. Because look, maximum capacity, 200,000, is it? Since when do large water pumps have 200,000 max capacity? I thought it was 20,000. Unless that's all of it put together, I'd assume. Water pollution is acceptable. It's pretty cheap. Let's check up this. Yeah, this is 20,000. Why is this 200,000? Large water pump? Oh, okay. Did I really buy a large water pump? I can't remember that. A oh, couple of ugly buildings up here as well. Oh, there we go. No, these guys aren't new, are they? We've already placed them before. Why would you be complaining? Just query some more. Customers low. 
All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll get out of here. And I'm gonna make sure we save. So save and exit to region. I'll just check up on my other cities. I don't want them to expand all too much at all. I'll probably go on Hillbilly Farm because we haven't been there in ages. We've definitely uh, forgotten that almost. So Hillbilly Farm. Also got this space up here and down here that's connected to Numero Uno. But I just want as much people and industries and commercial offices as possible in Numero Uno that I could have. Oh, we've got all these houses up here. Okay, people should be moving in. Oh, look at it go down. And it's going back up. Environments. I wonder why that's the case. Safety's also going up. Hmm. Okay, so, well, people should be moving in up here. We got these guys who probably aren't being watered, are they? Because their land doesn't look too good. Right, commute times are short, so low density residential. What do you want? Fight fires from above. Well, I'll accept that, but in the meantime, I'll quickly check. Oh, okay. It's a big area as well. What the hell is this? Place it like so. Ooh. Definitely queer in that. Fire department landing strip. What do you need to do that? Or get it? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not unlockable here. Buying feats first. What do you want? Cemetery. Yeah. Place it next to the uh, commercial building so we can commercialize the funerals of our people. There we go. We've got people moving in. So I do know that people moving in does affect uh, the other areas. And I guess we need to set up some, uh, like, trade, because we're starting to get a lot of rubbish up here. And I don't like rubbish. Isn't this a cemetery as well? Misplaced coffins too. Okay. They sort of look like bonsai, no, not bonsai trees, but uh, those cherry blossom trees. But that's actually rubbish just around here. Oh, lots of people moving in. Lots of these vehicles. I guess they must be, like, moving trucks or something pomp and circumstance heralds oh no 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 i don't want people to be too smart over here i want uh people that want an education to be going over into numero uno but right now i'll go to neighborhood deals should mean expenses no no okay what about i don't want numero uno wait do we need to connect it up Uh-huh, I think this might be a bit of a problem. We have to connect... Nu uh, not Numero Uno, but this hillbilly farm to our garbageosity. I think that's what I've got to do. To actually be able to go and build a neighborhood deal. So I have no option to choose garbageosity. Bit of a shame, really. We can import power. What I think I'll do instead is because we are making a fair amount of money, I could change that. The rubbish. Right, let's just check how much. Oh, we're not even using that much power, but it'll be a bit overkill. And it'll, but it'll be a little bit cleaner, the air. So what I could do is delete this, and then we'll instead... I'll slow down time. And instead, I'll go ahead and place a... Natural? No, is it not? No, it's not natural. No, it's in rubbish. Sorry. Waste to energy plant. That's what we want. It could be in both. It probably should be in both the waste to energy plants because it makes sense to me at least. So we're so close to this. No, we're so close to this. The nuclear power plant. Uh, not close enough. Uh, so let's go waste to energy plants. Incinerates garbage to produce power and also produces heavy pull, this produces heavy pollution, but it's a risk I'm willing to take, and that means I'm going to have to delete this probably, let's just delete the power plant, yes, yes, ooh, ooh. probably should have been playing on pause, connect it up to an avenue, okay, and then we'll connect it up to some electricity poles, 
lines, whatever you call, wherever you might be in the world. Although, really, I hope you could deliver electricity underground in SimCity 5, or the latest one, whatever you want to call it. No, that's not going to work. What we're going to have to do is do this. There we go. That worked. Good news. Okay. So, what are they demanding? They're demanding, like, just the basic housing. So, I could definitely give them that. I could just fill up this area as well. Because there's a really big demand for... Well, that, this is just... Yeah. This is... So I keep on getting confused. Maybe we'll go for higher density. Because there's no way you can check where they want what type of density. So I'll go for high density buildings, but hopefully they'll all be poor. Which isn't really a good thing to wish on people, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So hopefully people will move in here, but they'll all be poor. I do know I keep on getting that density stuff confused with how rich people are. what's happening here hospital grade is low commute is long and okay so if that's the case I could definitely cut down the commute time okay look at all the people move and I'm not gonna be able to do this am I I will be able however to do this and you know what YOLO just build it like so and that looks ugly as all hell so we're gonna have to delete delete a couple of roads We'll wait up and see if people actually take up this area. And I probably should place uh, just a hospital or two. Still making money. So a hospital or two it is. Just a medical clinic. Nothing too major for these people. I don't care about them enough. Okay. Speed time up a little. And they should be moving in. Let's check water up here. After all, I think the water and, well, the water for the agricultural area and the water for the residential area should be different. It seems like it is. Actually, no, it's not. And we don't have any water treatment things. And this is gonna pollute the water as well. Something I should check up on. These are underground modes. People still aren't moving in. And moving in over here for sure. There's a couple of hilly areas up here. No, just the road looks weird. It's on the edge of the map. Okay, zoom back out. You go to desirability. It's very desirable for... That's low income, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, none of this is really too desirable, which is the way we want it. We want this to be, after all, hillbilly farm. Where all the rednecks and uh, all those types of people go. It's not the, really the best type of place to live in, but it's cheap. That's what we're aiming for. Agricultural. Okay. I guess they don't like living next to people and uh, city folk all too much, which would make sense. Yeah, dirty industry would have a field day over here. So I think that's going to be it for now. Oh, these people can't get anywhere. Really? That's interesting. There must be such a large demand for commercial offices everywhere. So we're at almost 20,000 people over here. Let's save and exit to region. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. If it does, it's going to be an abysmal fail. Uh, and now we'll go to garbageosity. We'll just make sure to take up for the dirty industries there is good. And it should be really high. That's, oh, that's fairly high. Nothing too amazing. We'll just play here for a bit. People also want to live here. So, I could definitely give them some houses. Connect it up to electricity. There we go. Now, all oh, right, these guys aren't getting electricity now. Oh, so many changes we're making. 
It's all so confusing. So, you... all right, now we can zoom back in and press play. Okay, so this should neg negate pretty much all the demand for dirty industries everywhere else on New York. And hopefully here will just be a massive cesspit of pollution of grimy and icky stuff that you don't want anywhere else. I don't think these people are going to be complaining all too much about other stuff like... Well, supposedly the commute is long. I probably could connect these two avenues up and I'll probably do that. Firstly, let's check taxes. We're still losing money up here. That will change, I'd assume, though. And maybe I could spend this and join these guys up together. Okay. Hopefully, they'll shorten down the commute times. Two of the same vehicles are driving. Okay, this is also looking quite promising. What do you want over here? You just want low wealth as well. What if I go for medium density? And I'll place it right on over here. And a bit more of it. Maybe. Okay. I know I deleted some commercial, but what can you do? Now, they will no doubt have no water. Oh, okay. Righto. Typical me, giving all the dirty polluters water, but not the people. I want people to move in over here, so. Well, not too much there as well. I'd rather people be moving in. Well, into numero uno. So let's give them a water supply. They can stop complaining, just a normal water pump. We're gonna make sure we don't connect them up together, these water systems. No, that's not very efficient though, is it? Oh, flood of water buildings calls for high volume solution. What do you want? No, I, whatever it is, I'm not going to accept it because we're not making anywhere near enough money. Let's try that. Okie dokes. That should really help out the people. They should be moving in. There we go. There's people moving in. They'll move in a bit later on, I'd assume. One can only guess. How's the mayor rating over here? It's quite low in this city. We should be grateful for how good and how well we're treated in Numero Uno. No one's kicked us out of office yet. It's got to be a record for me. But until next time, I think I'll end this episode now. I'll read your tips. Should I build another city? I don't think I should. I, sh I think I should just continue on uh, trying to build up on over here. Uh, different densities. There we go. People, I was just about to tell you that people are going to move in and they did. That's good. This takes a little bit of time, but they'll find their way. Traffic volume, lots of pedestrians. Hmm. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Hopefully our financial position over here will be a bit better. Um, I probably, you tell what I'll do. I'll go to utilities and lower the power by a heck of a lot. That should help out. Unless it was already at the limit. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Let's keep it at that. Uh, maybe we should tax some people a bit more. Such as good old Herman Cain's tax plan, 999. Let's like, raise the... Well, we want, yeah, we want poor people to live here, so, you know. That's the the dirty industry as well. It's pretty much what I want it to look like. Maybe I should go for some more commercial as well. But as soon as these people move in, we should we'll be in a bit of a better financial position. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and press 
and save and exit to region and we started off at what was it 78,000 people in the whole region we're at 80 81,000 now so that's 3,000 people and uh, we did some good consolidation of our region so can't complain too much so until next time guys I'll see you later and thank you for watching